Hello, Kazjem here, and today we are taking a brief look at a new mod that has hit the workshop and really taken my heart, and that is the Intersection Marking Tool 1.0 from Max Sergey, and I've included a link to it down in the description. So, a lot of people in the detailing world have spent a lot of time taking their lines and their segments and all that, so if I sit here and type in line... There we go. Uh, and we go ahead and scroll on over and you'll see, you'll start to see a lot of decals and props and all that. In fact, let me go ahead and just sort this. So a lot of times you would want to design an intersection and you've got to scroll through, you've got to find the lines that you want to use. And let's go ahead and say that I wanted to do, just for fun, let's say I was going to do this intersection. So I turn on prop tools, anar prop line tools, anarchy, and we'll go ahead and this on over and you can see this is the process that you used to have to go through I say used to because you'll see that's changed and you'll see this is I'm kind of doing it fast but you can see how slow it goes but what if I told you it also I did that wrong <laughs> what if I told you it doesn't have to be that complex anymore what if I told you you could build something beautiful also, this is your reminder to like this like comment and subscribe round about so I'll go ahead and start on this guy. This is a completely untouched area. I haven't touched this yet, but we're, we want to add some lane markings. And to do so, after you've enabled it, we're going to go ahead and either, with the roads tools open, you can see I've got a little tool down here on the bottom left, the for intersection marking tool. You can go ahead and click that, or you can decide to hit Control L as the designated default hotkey for it. And then you'll note you can select your notes just like with things such as Move It or TMPE, other things. Let's go ahead and click this and see what's going on. And woohoo, new interface. So, uh, what are we seeing here? So there's three tabs in this, and the first one is your points. And so as we highlight over these, you'll note that we see different nodes highlighting with a white outline around them. And this is basically to select the different nodes and be able to move them around. And this is for lines, we haven't gotten here yet, and then templates, which I'll be showing you later. And your most used one is probably going to be lines. So let's go ahead and uh, start up. So we're going to go ahead and let's go back to default and let's make sure that we have nothing set as default. So this is just default how it's gonna come out of the box. I can take this and connect, and we'll go ahead and connect this guy straight across. If you've ever used things such as TMPE, you'll know how to do that. Just connect node to node, except you'll note that you're connecting the nodes that are kind of between your lanes and stuff on top of the lanes. Check out how great that is. I mean, that is just legendary. I, I can't even describe how amazing that is. So, you can go ahead and do that over here, no problem. Plop that right here. Look at that. It's amazing. And now, we can go ahead and do things like this too, but um, that's not quite good. So you'll note, whenever I am doing this, you'll note a little tab coming up. And you'll see that says Shift for Solid, Control for Double. Let's go ahead and hit shift to get a solid line. Wow, that looks good. So that's not too bad. And now right here, let's go ahead and get a double line going just to kind of see how that's going. There we go. Oh, I did the shift again, my bad. Let's go ahead and do control. There we go. That's how you get the doubles. And check that out. So you can get all sorts of customization and let's say you already set one down. Go ahead and select your line here with the lines tab. And then you can go ahead and just change what kind it is. Just right off the bat. Check out how simple it is. I don't like how this line is. So I can go ahead and grab this guy, like so. And then I can go ahead and decide, eh, I want this to be solid. Or I want it to be double solid. Mm, double solid looks okay. So let's see how it looks with the other guy as well. And you'll note how simple this is. That is just great. Look at that. It already looks stunning. But... Let's say we want to do some other stuff, because we've got some other lines and colors and all that, so let's get into that. So, in order to change something, after you've already set it, you can go ahead and adjust the color. So, let's say I want this to be a nice red. Do not cross this line under any circumstance. Wow, it looks kind of cool. And once you find a color and opacity and all of that that you like, I changed the wrong bar. There we go. Get that opacity down. There we go. Get somewhere like that. And I can go ahead and click off of that. And then let's go ahead and save as template. 
then we're going to save this as demonstration exclamation because this is a demonstration obviously and we can go ahead and continue to play with this by uh, messing with the offsets let's say that we want the offset to be uh, 0.35 point or let's make it 0.95 why not and then let's go back to the line and then let's go ahead and apply this new template of demonstration and you'll note that that offset actually determines how wide that is whenever you have the doubles. And you'll note that if it's a non-double, such as this, you don't get the offset option. Very interesting. Now, the next thing you might be wondering is what's the use case for this? So one interesting use case is being able to use offset and whatnot to do bike lanes, like I have over here. We did this live on stream over at twitch.tv slash castjump. And it's a nice way to designate where the bike lanes are. But something else you might notice, both here and on that super, tur super turbo roundabout that we had, uh, the lines aren't intersecting. Like, we're stopping them at points. Isn't that kind of cool? So let's figure out how we're doing that. Let's figure out how we're getting these shapes and how we're changing all of that. So if we go ahead back to our demonstration intersection, this one right here, you can... Actually, that's not a... Uh, that's not the best one. Right here will be a good choice for that. So, let's go ahead and right click to get out of that node, and then left click to get back in a node. And so, really quick, let's go ahead and jump back into this guy. And then you can go ahead and go ahead and connect this guy up, just like we're going to be using it. Okay. And now you might be thinking, well, they're intersecting cows. What are we doing wrong? So, next we're going to do is we're going to select these individual lines, and we're going to be splitting them into segments by adding a rule. So before we do anything else, you're, we're going to highlight this box. So there's several parts. There's the save as template, apply a template, which we'll get to in a minute. You can go ahead and just, you know, add in my bike lanes, add my double dash, whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and apply just S new template one. And you'll note that you have S or single, DS for double, sorry, S for solid, DS for double solid, D for dash, and then DD for double dash. And so it's a really easy way to do it. And then you have your naming scheme that you can use. So you know, I have things like short white, short yellow dash, invisible, very handy. Bike lane, long yellow dash. There's a lot of different things that you can add. I'm gonna keep this nice and basic for now. And then from and to, these are where your points start and end. So you'll note we're getting a highlight on the right for the from and the left for the to. So let's go ahead and figure out uh, what these correlate to. And you'll note that these numbers actually line up with these different points. And these are actually really handy because now you can sit there and if you want, you do super complicated intersections, but really all that's doing is an internal designation. What we need to do is reselect that line. And let's go ahead and terminate it a little bit early, for premature. And after clicking that, you'll note that you get some extra dots here. And I'm going to go ahead and say that it's going to end. Uh, we need to go ahead and solve that again. One moment. And end that right here. Look at that. That's great. It just stops. It's amazing. And then we'll go ahead and do a second segment dashed from this point over to this point. And then we'll go ahead and do a third point, add rule, from here to here. There we go. And then we'll change that to solid. And then we'll go ahead and grab this middle segment. Now I would recommend making your rules in order from one end to the other. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with. And we're going to go ahead and apply a template of short white dashes that I have. Because that makes it nice and easy. Let's see. And then we'll go ahead and copy this, or just recreate it rather, on the next line right here. We can go ahead and say that you are going to end right here. Add a rule. Go from here to here. And you'll know how simple this is, and you can actually really pick up the pace once you really start learning this. And this is such a handy mod for doing all those super detailed intersections. And those that have ever tried doing one of these by hand, you can already tell all the time that it's starting to save because you can see I'm starting to pick up the pace a little bit. You can really see the endless possibilities. And then I need to go ahead and say, you know what? This is priority whenever you're crossing through my roundabout. 
So we're going to go ahead and apply the template of long yellow dash. No, that doesn't work. Let's go ahead and try, ah, short yellow dash. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. But as I'm finishing this up, I am noticing, huh, that point doesn't quite line up. Man, the mod's broken. No, it's not actually. So as it turns out, you can offset these individual points. If we go ahead and select that, and they're also color coded, so it's a little easier to find them. Take this, and we're going to go ahead and try the offset and watch this magically move around. We went the wrong way with that one, but you get the idea. So we're going to have to go into the negatives this time. It's negative 0 0.3, boom. All right, not bad, but not quite there. So I think negative 0 0.15 will do it. Perfect. And if you sit there and tweak it enough, you can end up with beautiful marked lanes like this. Anyways, that was a brief introduction to the intersection markings tool from Max Sergey on the workshop. Again, I've got a link down below. If you want to see me play with this or play City Skylines in general, come check out the stream sometime at twitch.tv slash casgym. I stream four days a week on that channel, and we'd love to have you. And until next time, this is Casgym signing out. See ya!